Hi, you Dad here. I just got this trailer for $700. I found a person in Vermont about 45 minutes away, fellow teacher, wanted to get rid of it. It was too short for him, 6'2", I think. And I've been looking for a couple years on and off on the fiberglass forums to 1989. Casita Spirit, I think a deluxe, but it's been modified and painted and uh, used as a storeroom before he got it. And he went over to a Trillium because it has more headroom. And let's go look inside before I try to clean it up and make it at least a bunkhouse uh, to be pulled by a Subaru without any water or tanks or anything. And so believe it or not, the first thing I just did was I got some vinegar in one of those hose mixing things just for uh, like fertilizer and I soaked it with a mixture of vinegar and you know hose water I don't know what 1 to 20 gallon that is um, and let it sit and then I soaked it with a 1 to 20 of bleach and let it sit and then I power washed it with a hose not with a power washer that would have ripped the paint off I think and the mildew came right off so it was much worse than this let's do a walk around first though Definitely been painted. Definitely owned by a Patriots fan. I drove very carefully on the back road because it wasn't registered. The lights didn't work, but the Subaru towed it great. It's all dry. And I'm gonna paint it blue, I think under the seam and gloss white above the seam. I'll go inside in a minute here. It does have electric brakes, I noticed. They'll definitely need tires. The sidewalls were pretty cracked, but they held. This uh, had a bathroom, a toilet that was right there. And that was the bathroom window. Looks like it's been converted mostly into a bunkhouse or a storeroom. That seems like an almost permanent table, but it can drop down for that bed, obviously. They took the carpet out, and it looks like they had started to paint it so there wouldn't be carpet. But I noticed these bubbles, whatever they painted over. But it's relatively waterproof, and in need of a lot of work. I can see they kept the carpets in certain places. I don't need a stove. I don't need gray water, white water, brown water. Whenever we camp, we're near a bathroom. So I'll probably just keep a counter with a sink that drains to the ground or, or a tank. They kept the carpet where the bed would be. And let's see, it is pretty, I'm five, seven. Uh, so this is great. Our family is 5'7 and lower. <laughs> so for us, I'm standing up. Uh, and I think, realistically, we're not going to camp in this too much. Um, and it will need some support. Uh, especially where the bathroom was. I want to make sure that there's a nice support in the middle. Oh, hey, Onion. What are you doing? You cannot get trapped in here. You cannot get trapped in here. Yeah, what do you think? All right, I'm gonna back out here. I'm really glad that they had already taken the bathroom out because this could be a bunk space right here for the kids. And some people have this as a dinette table permanently. So that could be a bed permanently. For two people. Okay, we'll see. I'm very excited. Our pop-up trailer, a 1997 Coleman that I got for $800 has lasted, God, five years. We only ended up going camping a few times in it and then we put it in our backyard in the shade. And I have to say, this is lovely summer guest house. Uh, and we sleep in it at least 
two or three times a month. I'll be posting more about this 1989 Casita bunk bed retrofit. And I hope you stay, while it's raining, I hope you stay dry out there and warm as the winter's coming. And if you're in the RV fugue, I hope you don't spend too much money before you try to go camping or have a place in your backyard because I found that RVs like sailboats can take over the mind and then you don't use them that much sometimes. So rent first or, or keep it low like this, like this one was. All right, stay cozy out there.